take a look at the Wizards starting lineup coming in 34 and 42 18 and 19 here at Capital One Arena Morris Wright Kispert Denny Avia and Daniel Gafford you hear it with Mike Brown in Sacramento how it's not about the X's, X's and O's he's not as technical as he was in his younger years coaching but it's about reestablishing the culture and I'm starting to see that I mean I guess they got their attention because Boston went to Milwaukee last night and hung a big one on, on the wall Daniel Gafford gets two inside. Yeah, we talked about it in the crossover back in studio at West Hall. We talked about it in the crossover back in studio at West Hall. We talked about the three-point shooting. I say, listen, the three-point shooting will come, but you're going to have to dominate the paint right there. Daniel Gafford with an easy two. They're almost the top five, top seven in the NBA and opponent's three-point percentage. Excellent defense there by Avia. Look at Daniel Gafford going coast to coast. You want to see some development tonight? The small wins within the game I'm talking about. And especially from a development standpoint, Daniel Gafford with an easy finish. You talked about how Diddy went after Marcus Smart in that Tuesday game as Fultz turns it over. It's a kick out to Kisper for three. Uh, when he's healthy, we talked about that being his biggest enemy coming coming into the season. One of the number one priorities, can he be healthy? He showed that enough majority of this season, along with being a guy you could feature in the post. Avia with a cut Ooh. running upstairs to Gafford, who misses that dunk. But he taps it to Avia. Smart move there by Denny. There's a kick out to Monte for three. But rebounding per minute he has to be because this guy especially on the defensive end he can rebound the ball and not only can he rebound the ball on the defensive end he has that ability to push it on the break and be a playmaker that is the standard at 15 5 and 5 is a sweet spot and what i like the most is he almost got 12 shot attempts up in the last five games there's a feed inside by ben carroll to wendell carter jr he must have forgot daniel Gafford's into the game speaking of Gafford. The offensive rebound off that DeLon right miss. 19.9. I tell you what, guys hate the average 19.9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a sweet drive to the rim by Ben Carroll. He's going to get fouled on that play. But he has to get to it, whether it's a Euro step, he has to get to that left hand. There's none. High floater. Yeah. Davis out to Anthony Gill. Gill hesitates. Steady drives, misses, follows his own shot, gets the offensive rebound. I'm glad Anthony Gill got that back. Boy, he was a knockdown corner three-point specialist two years in a row, and it seems like he's lost a little confidence. Wizards got beat on that pressure at the top. You don't never want to trap in the middle of the floor. It's tough because it makes your rotation that much longer. Oh, Corey Kispert hit that one from Clarksburg. by Gill and Davis. There's a cutter by Moe. Moe scores over Xavier Cooks. Well, when you get traded like that, uh, you've never been traded from one country to another. Though. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that story later. This is that rebound goodie. Yeah, that's going to wrap back right there. Uh oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. Cooks with a strong finish. I'm trying to tell you. Body and Gogo Batase. It's the Wizards. Have an 11 point lead with 7.30 remaining here in the second. It's Anthony going downhill, stops, fades, and hits. Anthony, like you said, Drew, he's coming in taking offense. He's got yeah. six points hitting all three of his shots. Kispert on a kitchen shoot. Poor Kispert, he knows the agenda. Hit them up. Two ex teammates, Wendell Carter Jr., Gap. Carroll swinging it out to Fultz. Fultz for three. Good. Not how it looks. Arkell Fultz shooting just 28% from three, but he's wide open like that. Why not? Here's Kispert again for three. Hey, this guy's in his bag. He's getting warm. Corey Kispert with 15 points here in the first half. The release is just that much quicker. I mean, he's definitely, you can see, evolved when it comes to being a, a knockdown three point shooter. There you go. Nice attack. Count the bucket and one. And let me tell you, and over four assists is impressive. Monte out to DeLon. DeLon for three. 
Touches nothing but core. Gafford, Davis, and Corey Kispert, your five on the floor to start the third quarter. Yeah, and if and it starts as a pecking order, if Monte Morris is out this game and Johnny Davis shoots a three. It's an offensive putback, though. Opportunities alive, and Jordan Good, when you see him right there, he's ready to get in and do the same. Here's Corey Kisper, who was the man in the first half. Keeps it going here as we start the third. Gaff with the rebound. There's the line going coast to coast. Count the bucket in one. Corey keeps shooting like that. All she wrote, I'm turning to murder, she wrote. How about it again? Eight threes for Corey Kisper. Are you kidding? Jamal Mosley has seen enough. Corey Kispers uh, on pace and some good things. Wendell uh, Carter split the Wizards defense there to score. So Corey Kispers is on a heater right now. Need a 12 from three. There's the line. Oh, there's the camper. Count the bucket and one. Man. Franz Wagner, wrong place, wrong time. Squirts out to Ben Caro. Yeah, these guys are, are in the game right now, been ranked since they were nine years old. There's another three point shot here by Markel Fultz that touches nothing but net. 46% for three. He wanted to, want to get his money worth, seeing you know why? Because he bought a lot of tickets. <laughs> Jordan Goodwin splashes a corner triple. He's done. Feet inside the oh, gap. Wow. The creative layup. Count it. The landlord's got moves tonight. Terrence Ross helps you out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to West Hall, who finished second. <laughs> Petty Pendergrass over here. Petty, Petty Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a tough bucket by Ben Caro into the body of Gaffer. Good one. Two triple pull up. Good. Ben Caro pull up jump shot oh, counted. Solid defense, two by none. Getting himself in trouble. Speed, pace is what's keeping their offensive attack relevant. Three point shot there by Franz Wagner. Touches nothing but nylon. It's Franz Wagner, corner three. Good. Hands it off and out to Cole Anthony. Anthony picks up his dribble. Jalen Suggs. Tough lay in as he hits Anthony Gill. That's right, that's right. And fade away by none. Out, Gafford. The offensive rebound, fighting with it. Still staying with it. And one. I need all of that. I need the clip. Look at how Orlando has actually defended Corey Kispert here in the second half. Face guard. Johnny, float game. Good. Good decision there by Johnny Davis. He saw Mataze there. Team's fourth foul. You called it, partner. <laughs> Nonverbal. He was like shooting motion. That's exactly what he did. Tavia going left for the line. Right. That right over Mataze. I mean, all you young players out there, especially playing the guard position or three point shoot. Davis guarding Suggs. Taze, no look to Houston. Here's Cole Anthony again for three. Passing Orlando the Magic take the lead, 105-103. Which is not bad because they're playing two. Ah, the three rattles out. But there's DeLon. I told you. Cleaned it up. Just has that knack and that ability along with Jordan Goodwin. You saw him. He did it. One of you. One of you opening. A lot of them. Tip. All right. Markel rattles in a jumper with no bounce and being undersized. You know what they want to do offensively. 320 to go here. Four point lead for Orlando. Mataze. That was blocked by Gaffin. That's some get backs right there. You know, these guys are up and at it vocally. Wizards defense just parted, allowing Franz Wagner to score. I'll say this much on this offensive end right now. The Magic will improve to 33 and 44, 14 and 25 away from Amway Center. Meanwhile.